Joe Germanata is a longtime entrepreneur. He is a very famous daughter musician, Lady Gaga. You may remember a few weeks ago, he was in the news for describing the current condition of New York as filthy. But we want to talk to him tonight about something different. So many Americans struggle with addiction. We talk about it a lot. We don't talk to enough of them who have overcome that addiction. Joe Germanata has been sober for three years. He is celebrating. We want to celebrate with him. He joins us now on set. Joe, thank you so much for coming on. No, thank you. I mean, this is a happy day. It, well, it's a <laughs> wonderful day. And the, I don't know what the percentage of Americans who are addicted to something, a lot of prescription pills, a lot of alcohol, both of which are everywhere. How does it feel to have beaten it? Oh, it feels tremendous. I mean, you don't wake up in the morning the next day. You remember yes. what you did. <laughs> yes. Right? right? You don't feel horrible for 24 hours. Yeah. Right? It, you, it, you're so much more productive. Yes. And, and work and, and, and your family. How did you do it? I did it cold turkey. Yeah. Um, I just decided, I, you know, I had had some open heart surgery. And right after I came back out, out of the hospital, I decided, you know what? It's, it's time because I couldn't drink anyway and I just started you know doing different things with you know different types of mocktails etc yes and you know it, it was satisfying so it, it wasn't was you satisfying. found it not that hard after I, I assume many years of drinking oh yeah yeah I did well you know what I don't even like the taste of it anymore I was a scotch drinker yeah me too yeah I drank I, I drank a, a, a river of scotch I'm sure okay so, There's a right. country music song about that. <laughs> Whiskey River. Right. Um, so, so you hear people, I mean, I, I saw a clip of the governor of California recently saying from, I think, a year or two ago, sobriety is overrated. We push people to be sober. How was your experience, your three years of sobriety? Like. Is it well, overrated? You no, know, it's no, it's not overrated. It's I think there's a trend now. I mean, in the in the restaurant in, in my place. Yeah, I'm serving mocktails. And really? Yeah, and there's some really good imitation gin, and uh, like one of my favorite drinks is a, it's a Negroni. Yes. And it's made with um, a fake gin. It's called New London Gin Light or Light Gin, and then uh, Davina Rosa, which is kind of like it's got a Campari flavor, and you mix them together and you put them on the rocks and you put a slice of orange on it and it's a cocktail. Yeah. Right? And you can sit at the bar and you feel normal. <laughs> right? But you don't do anything embarrassing, forget where you are, lose your car keys, exactly. or wake up in jail. Exactly. And you don't run outside to have a cigarette. <laughs> it's, it, would it, do you think, one of the reasons I so wanted to talk to you is it's just nice to see people who've overcome this thing that can, you know, will absolutely destroy your life, fair. Yeah. And then they overcome it and, and they like are a lot happier. Wouldn't it be? I, it'd be well, nice if we heard from more people like you. I'm now promoting it. All right, we're doing uh, every, the the last Thursday of every month is mocktail night at Joanne. Really? Right? Yeah. This week we're doing on um, on Friday night. We're doing um, free tastings of curious elixirs. So you go in, come in for dinner, and we'll offer you. Would you like to try one of these beverages? Right. And, you know, the new companies, they, they're sponsoring like crazy because I think the I think the younger generation now is moving away from alcohol. Right. And I mean, they've always you know we're smoking weed. Right. OK. But I think they're moving away from alcohol now. So there's some, some of this stuff is really good. I mean, there's a new beer out. It tastes like beer. Right? <laughs> I gotta try that. Used to be you drank a duels and it was like, you know, it didn't taste like anything. Right? No, it didn't. Or I oh. yeah. I quit long ago enough that I went to Club Soda and never went back, but I'm gonna try a fake Manhattan. Okay. Joe, thank you. No, oh, thank and you. Congratulations on three years. I want, I want a creepy porn lawyer mug. You can have all the <laughs> creepy porn lawyer mugs you want, put your fake cocktails in them, <laughs> okay. drink it with pride. All right. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.